Oh wow, look at that huge terracotta statue. Wow. Yeah, that's quite something, hey? <laughs> Is he for sale? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This guy's a little bit... Is he, okay. So don't, I won't. so don't grab him by that. Okay. Wow. Five foot tall statue. Yeah, he's like five. Because yeah. I'm like five and a half feet yeah. tall. He's almost life size. But he needs some work. Yeah, he's rough. He's, he's got some chips. Fingers. He's missing a finger. The, 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 little the little guy is like flipping the bird because that's the only finger he's got left. But how awesome is that? It is quite something. Oh so, my goodness. And I'm going to work my magic. When do you even get a chance to buy something like that? Right. So I'm going to like, because he's cracked and there's a little crack here where yeah, the kid is. It's rough. So we're thinking. I'm going to try and. We're going to replaster him a little bit. Like, you know, fill in the cracks. Yeah. She's going to try and mold a new finger. Yeah. Maybe Same a thumb with... here, some fingers. Well, there's nothing to put the fingers on. in this I know, but one. I can put a wire in there. And uh, paint him. Okay, so now that Karen has gone and seriously, miraculously fixed these fingers here, and and uh, so he's not giving the finger to the sinners anymore there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was some damage down here that you yeah, fixed. Yeah, and on some of this, some of these were broken off, like it had maybe fallen or something. So that was so we repaired some of this. And. Then you went ahead and uh, primed him with brown primer and then painted this metallic paint on it. Right. And Bronze. so, right. So the paint has small, well, minute um, copper, actual copper pieces in it. So it will react to acid. So that's what this stuff is. Yeah. And so. Now, Karen, you're going to just spray the statue down with acid and yeah. hopefully 
hopefully it works. Hopefully everything works out and he oxidizes. Right. Yeah, because we want him to look old and like he was outside. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I might be repainting him after this. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out if this is going to work. Yeah. So you put some of that black patina solution in that spray bottle. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to spray kind of top down so it looks like it's weathered. Like, like it was sitting outside. Okay, so we sprayed them down and you can see some of the results of the acid on the paint, but we're going to do more. But yeah. And it's kind of like, if you look on his shoulder, it's kind of a whitish, like it's kind of, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Neat. Like it's oxidizing. Yeah. So. I want more like on top of his more head drippy, almost like uh, you know, like what you'd get outside in the weather. So right, right. We're gonna spray it again. Yep. Okay, so after two uh, coats of the acid, we're getting some nice look, it's starting to look metal, and and some of this nice again. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah. We're creating this, a shadow here, but oh yeah, there. This white sort of uh, patina. Yeah, there's more of it down here. So I think we're gonna go with another coating of the acid. Hey guys, okay, so we've applied uh, a few different applications of the acid and the statue is starting to look really awesome. However, there was one thing we noticed. Uh, the parts where we were a little thin with the metal paint are starting to show through. There's some on his collar there where you can see the base coat and also on the top of his head. I don't know if I can get this. The lighting isn't great in here. But uh, on the top of his head there, it's a little light. And uh, it was just hard to notice that because the base coat is so close in color to the metallic paint that it wasn't until we were able to turn the metallic paint darker where we could see the thin spots. You can also see some parts on the inside of his collar here where the paint's a little thin. So we're going to throw more metallic paint on, try and feather it in and then more acid. Hopefully it turns out good. Okay, so we've kind of painted over the spots we think were uh, still a little translucency. The problem with this paint is it's a clear base with metal flake in it. So I guess you need like a good three or more coats to really get good coverage, but... Uh... Yeah, which it didn't say that on the can. <laughs> and we used a flashlight too to really... Oh yeah, I brought a flashlight in here too and then that we were really able to find some spots. So I think this is about as good as it's going to get for paint and we're going to spray it down with acid again. Mm -hmm. 